Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and as always, thank you for watching. Today, we're going to uh, take the Western Star and tow a customer's truck that was involved in a wreck, take it down to his body shop, get Ethan some wheel time. Here we go. Should be, yep. PTO light is on, switch is on. Make sure your controls are turned on on this one. They're down here. Yep. Control switch is the same as it is on any of the other trucks. Do what? I said, yeah, it's on. I just moved the phone. Okay. Yep, she got smacked. Could have been worse, but it's... Whoo, U-bolts are broke loose here. This is gonna be fun. This front drive axle's broke loose. Securing it. What if you want to go ahead and get your hook up? Oh. Oh. Yeah, see, the U bolts and stuff are broken, and then that uh, the air spring is loose and the shock is bent where it got hit over here. That's pretty good. Yes, could have been worse. Yep. It grazed the tank, but it didn't puncture it. Oh, I saw that. So, got lucky on that one. Yep. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yeah. I'm Ron. Am I Ron. the one you talked to? Yeah. Nice Rob, to nice to meet you, yes, too. Thanks for is this, this your place? Or? Yeah. Well, yeah. Good deal. We, Good deal. Well, you can see we got Spartan and Bay Transport. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Both, uh, both shops here. So yeah. Office down in Southern Oh, yeah. We used to do quite a bit with Day Transfer. Yeah. Um, and now we've been doing quite a bit with Spartan. Yep. So. We appreciate it. Yep. Be glad all, to help. All our alignments, I think you do all that. Yeah. Yes, sir. Awesome. Yep. Go, go. And stuff like this. Be glad to help. Absolutely. Anytime. You're, you're our go-to. All right. Appreciate it. No problem. Thanks, guys. Yes, sir. Thank you. Yeah. Hey, Juan, let's oh, look yeah. at this blue one over here real quick. Do what? He's got troopers. What's up, man? Well, it's got total down here. Yeah. And uh, it hasn't moved since he dropped it, so it should still be in tow mode. Got you. It's all right. Yeah, we got to chain the front axle up and tie the steering wheel and stuff. There's a few things we got to do, but it's nothing out of the ordinary for us. No big, no big deal. Y'all need anything? Give me a holler. Got a couple guys in the shop. That's all right. We're good. Thank you.
Come on, you. There we go. Don't forget to pin. It, yeah, somebody bent it. They pushed it down on the ground. We need to get a new one. That's one thing unique about the, or different about the Vulcan than the centuries. The Vulcan has a pin that holds the T-head from swiddling. The centuries do not. Glad I saw that. Yep, that could have been bad. Hate this hood latch. Hold on, bud. Uh, I'm having trouble getting this dang hood latch in. I hate this style of hood latch. Hate, hate, hate it. I think it's bent. Got the one on the other side, but. This one doesn't want to catch. Maybe you see if you can do that and I'll go work on the pin. couldn't get it. I got the one on this side. Well, you got that, I got this. That's all that matters. Alright, if you'll let me get my, uh, well, do you know what hookup you want to go with yet? I know what I'd go with, but... Either a frame grab or axle right here. Or we could actually have frames with a cup. The cups is what I was thinking for ease. It's quick, it's a short tow, they're easy to grab. Don't know. They just sit there. Oh, New what? Well, I didn't even notice this. Yeah, that's what I was pointing out to you. Just pointed out the axle. Yeah. I said then. I, I guess you didn't hear it. That's where I pointed out that uh, it got hit back there. It start it grazed the tank and then hit right there on that uh, drive. Took out both tires. That's what knocked yeah, that's what knocked the axle backwards. What did it hit? Huh? What did it hit? I'm not sure. I think it got hit. Oh. 
Well, hold on. Somebody's used the steering wheel to tie it down with. They've done a good job. I just don't, you know, I don't like doing that. Well, seatbelt. Yep. Uh, trying to get. Try to help that in here. Well, I'm. That's what I was trying, but I can't reach in there. On the other side, it's not wanting to go. Uh, what? This thing has air conditioned seats and heated seats. We got it figured out there. to the uh, seat belt anchors here on the back side of the seat. I know they've already towed, somebody has already towed it. I think they said they have a uh, company fifth wheel wrecker here that they use that towed it from the accident scene, crash site, whatever. And whoever did it, Obviously, the steering wheel held for them. Just not how I like to do it. Everybody has their own methods. I'm just going to add this as an extra measure of protection. Good and good. Good, good. I got the steer or the drive axle tied, the steer wheel tied. I hate this hard hat. Where's your other one? Stop. This one won't stay on my head. And we need to look at some different ones, some more professional ones anyway. Anytime I bend over, it falls off. Well, they've got some. Well, you saw the ones like the fire department had with the chin straps. I really don't like those. Uh, but okay. You probably have to come up and tilt down some more. Yeah, you will. Either that or you're gonna have to flip these over and go low. Now tilt down. Now come in. There you go. Hold, hold. Tilt down some more. Boom up. Tilt down. Keep going down. Whoa. You can get it to sneak under there. Man, we're probably gonna have to take it out. Now, go up. Boom, up. Boom up. Whoa, now, tilt down as hard as it'll go. Okay, 
then go bring it in just a little bit boom in all right now boom down hard boom down hard and then we'll try to scoot under it with the scoop out with the rocks whoa back up stop tilt up whoa whoa no you were okay tilt up now it, it's okay just trust me I, i'm your eyes all right push out under reach out Now, tilt up and you got it. Whoa. Now, boom up. Got it. That's... Hey, bud, that's the advantage with the Vulcan. You can suck it all the way in because it has the pin that keeps it from pivoting. The centuries, you're right. You do have to push it back out, and I know that's what you're used to. The Vulcan, you can bring it all the way in, and it pivots off that head. I also didn't want too much swing around where it might get over. Towing it from the back like this, you won't. It'll be fine. Sometimes they don't leave them in there. Take your hook. Uh, no, you're right. Whoop, I, I stop. There you go. Slack, yeah. Now, take that one, yep, over the front. Bring your hook up. There you go. Might want to roll it back just a little bit. The hook, that is. Yep, there you go. All right, now take your tail end, take it back over the underreach. There you go. Yep. Probably another one because these chains are a little bit longer. Take it one more time. All right, then put it in your hook. Oh, there you go. Now, breakaway chains. And what else? Light. Huh? Light. Yep. I like the, uh, these a whole lot better. Here, bud. Go around the outside. Underneath the uh, quarter fender or mud flap, whatever. Yep. That way you're grabbing the frame and the cross member. All right, now look at the difference in our hookup on the hook. Yep. That's all right. You'll get it. There well, you I go. Yeah, I know you know better. Um, ah. Yeah, give yourself a little more room there. There you go. There you go.
got the hood latch. Some people overthink this. They overcomplicate it. Yep. That strap needs to be ripped off there because it's broken. It needs to be just, well, we'll get it later, but it needs to be removed and replaced. Here, just wrap around this. Do what? I said I didn't know you could do that. Yep. As long as you're not going to damage it. It's just a bug screen behind it. All right, then let her hang. Then you have to get these. Then I'd just go, hey, just go right under the bumper right there. Clip, clip it in. Bumper has a lip on it. There you go. Now, if you wanted to, you could also put a uh, strap around it or another bungee. I wouldn't do the red and blues. We don't need those on this. All right, so since this is your operation, check the drive axle, make sure it's acceptable. Make sure it's not gonna fall down on us going down the road. Especially the other side where it got hit. Good with it? No, I do. Because this one's probably going to fall all down the road. Good catch. Throw that in the driver's seat, uh, full board. There's some other stuff. You bolt brackets, okay, though. It won't come out. What, the bracket? Yep. No, this is okay. That one, I don't know. It's loose, but I don't think it's going anywhere. No, no, it's stuck in there. It's got ears, uh, little tabs holding it up. All right, check everything over, do your walk around. Stay, throw away. I'd put it in the front seat in case they have need it for evidence purposes. Not front seat, floorboard, you know what I meant. All right, you feel good? Yeah. Fairings. Have a broke, broke fairing. But it's just at the bottom. Yeah, but it's gonna, it broke right there too. We didn't do that, so you gotta document all this, okay? Of course, I'm getting it on video, but uh, if you ever have questionable stuff like that, Take your phone, take pictures of it to show that, you know, we didn't do that damage. And then it might not be a bad idea if we got a strap and held it in. I think that's just gonna slide. And I was hoping to go around that, but then it's gonna work. better ain't great but it's better are you comfortable with it or no you good 
All right. And my dad's favorite old truck. Be Ethan's first tow job in this truck. shop manager found out where he wanted it to go Ethan's getting ready to back it into the spot here get out of his way room to get out and then uh, give yourself room to push the truck out with the underreach so you can fold it up. Put it in between the bus and the other one. Mm -hmm. Huh? Okay. Oh. Act like you might have known what you was doing.
wheel still good and solid. Yeah, I saw it. Axles dropped some. That ain't what I'm talking about. Then what are you talking about? The side that you did? Yeah. It's already in the box. That's what I asked you earlier. You said what? No, I've already taken it off and put it up in the box. Okay, so I asked you a few minutes ago if you had already done that and you said no, so I was... I thought you meant the front drive axle. No. That's why I was... I'm going to say, because I couldn't get the front drive axle until you get ready to drop it all out. Well, that's why I was confused, because it was gone. Yeah, I've already got it. You were working on the uh, breakaways. I was working on the safety. Then I moved up to get the info while you were putting the breakaways away. I Hold on. Remember, extend out first. Several good things about this underreach. It's extremely long and it's low. It's the low rider version. The head is exceptionally low on it. All right, go ahead and drop her out. may not you may not get it out tilt tilt it all the way down it is i have an idea though all right i don't know if the cups will come up out of there if that's what your idea is worst come to worst we can find something to set the tires on Or you can stretch the boom out and lift it. This one's too tight. I can't get it loose after it has shifted. That whole axle must have moved on us. There you go. Pretty good at making stuff work. That's what this job is.
figuring out a way to make stuff work usually in some horrific conditions do what be mad you missed that what that end up right there just uh, lifted his bed and rolled. What? I just watched it happen. Oh, no! I just saw it happen. I see the dust still flying. Yeah. Driver okay? Let's... He, yeah, he's still in the truck. Ah, oh, shoot. Now he's out walking around. Uh, I don't think so. Here yeah. Driver's still in it. He just extended it and it, it was oh, yeah, shoot. He's still in it. Okay. Good thing they got a tow truck here. Yeah, I doubt they'll have us do it. Everybody's okay though. All right, good deal. Now, I may have to have you come back once you roll that up, unless this settles in some. I may have to take some more slack out of this so I can get my chain out on this side unless you can work it out I wanted it snug I got that I said I wanted it snug I got that much darn I hate that I was on this side I'd like to have had that on video, watching that thing go over. Well, I heard stuff start creaking and I looked over and there it went. I didn't even hear it. It hit hard. Of course, I was trying to wiggle you that. Over there. Oh, was I? Yeah. Okay. Yep, okay. Now, see if you can get it loose. If not, we're going to have to take and mean like right out of here yep yeah it's it's jammed in there tight it was tight when i got it uh when i installed it the axle might have shifted on us some we can always take the boom and raise this uh raise this up a little bit take some pressure off of it I can't, I couldn't get it. No, it's not gonna go. Yeah. Just uh, raise your boom, scooch it over this way so the boom comes over the drives. And we'll just pick the drives. I was going to use the boom, but no, because we need to lift this axle, just this axle. This easy on me anyway we go, do they?
Now you'll have to back up. You'll have to fold the underreach, scoot over, and come this way some. Yeah, unfortunately, that's a uh, single st or a, yeah, single stage. Well, there lays the dump truck still. We offered to help. They declined. Their choice. Framed in the uh, rolled over right there in the lot. Is that good? Yep, that'll be enough for what we gotta do. Oh, are you sure about that? Yeah. Okay, uh, pull the boom in just a little bit, please, so I can grab a hold of the cable. All right, whoa, stop. Now just lift it enough for me to get uh, get this free. All right, hold. We're good. Let her down. Clear. Here, I'll get them. Go ahead. All right, you good? That's good. All right, Ethan, getting that put up. We're gonna head back to the shop. Truck delivered safely, no worries. Somebody, unfortunately, though, had a uh, framed dump wagon. Try to keep them, uh, keep the bottom of it even with the outriggers, so that the out so the outriggers drag first if it accidentally hits anything. Yep, that, that's good. T scoot, you got the pin back in it. Good. Yep, I saw it. Well, make sure you got the light bar, got the uh, both axle chains, all the. No, that was already there. That's our stuff. They did the same thing to hold that uh, alarm in. Yeah, That's see what that. Tom had to do. Yep. Well, they didn't do the same thing, but they're having the same issue. All right. Looks like we got everything. All right. Didn't leave anything in the cab. Nope. I got both. All I had was two straps for the steering wheel. I got those. I left the wheel strapped for them. And you were right. This is Cascadia. I thought I saw it, but yep. here, let me show you what I had to do on the hood latch. Yeah, some of these are tricky. I, I do not like this design. So Never have. All I had to do, uh -huh. pull that one down, but since that one wouldn't go far enough. That's typically what I do. I just couldn't get that bottom hook to latch in there. 
Look. Yeah. That's right yep. ahead of you. Oh, push head. it all the way. Yep. Push it in. I just couldn't. My hands weren't. Didn't have enough dexterity, I guess, or whatever. I'm glad we caught that though before we took off. That could have been bad. All right. Ready? Let's go. All right, ladies and gentlemen. As always, thank you for watching. God bless.